In this video we're going to briefly revisit statistical mechanics and try to find a molecular level interpretation for heat and work. So we have our expression for internal energy, or it would have been E when we were looking at the statistical mechanics videos. And that's just going to be a weighted average of all the energy levels of all the states. So sum over I all the states, probability of being in that state times energy level of that state. And those depend on things like number of particles, volume of the system, and the inverse temperature beta. Remember that's defined as 1 over kBT. And those probabilities just come from the Boltzmann factor and the partition function. And then the partition function, remember, is also just the sum of Boltzmann factors. So this all just depends on what the Boltzmann factors of all these energy levels are. Okay, so if we take the derivative of this the differential of this internal energy here, energy being a state function, we have an exact differential. So uh, derivatives are linear operators, so we can go inside the term here and just sum uh, on the outside. We have a product of two functions here, so we're going to use the product rule. So first term, I'm going to leave the probabilities undisturbed and differentiate the energy levels. And in the second term, doing the opposite, leaving the energy levels untouched and differentiating the probabilities. Okay, so two terms to deal with there. Now let's also remember that our set of energy levels, as we see up here, are functions of number of particles and volume. And studying these types of closed systems that we're looking at, the number of particles is fixed because in a closed system you can't exchange particles with the surroundings. So the number of particles is fixed. So since delta n is going to equal zero, therefore we can say the following, that the differential of our energy, this DEI, for every energy level is going to be the partial derivative of the energy levels with respect to volume at constant number of particles times the change in volume. So DEI equals partial E with respect to V times DV. Okay, so let's substitute this into our energy expression up there. DU equals sum over I. I'm gonna have probability of I partial with respect to volume of the energies times change in volume plus sum over I, and we have that term the same as it was before, EI dPI. Okay, so let's try to interpret this term a little bit here. So we have, this is the change in the energy levels from a small change in volume. So this is kind of DE from small dV. So small change in volume leads to a small change in the energy levels. And that is essentially equivalent to the average work. So if we change the volume here and the energy levels change, uh, remember the, pro the temperature is being kept the same for isothermal expansion, so uh, this term isn't being, being affected there if you're only changing volume and you're not changing temperature. So we have these small changes in the energy levels due to this uh, mechanical disturbance there. So this is really can be interpreted as work on the molecular level. It's making a minor perturbation in the energy levels while leaving the probabilities conserved. Okay, so we're going to make use of that because we know that du is going to equal the small amount change in work plus the change in heat. So therefore we are interpreting this first term here as work and the second term here as heat. And remember all these processes for which we were discussing, isothermal and adiabatic, those are all reversible processes as well. So we're going to say for a reversible process, the differential of reversible work is sum of the probability of NV beta times 
times partial E with respect to V times DV. And because this term plus this term equals DU, and this term is work, we know the only other thing that can be left is heat. So we can interpret this term here. We can interpret this term, I'll put that in yellow. You can interpret that term there then as heat, just in, as we interpreted the first term as work because it is all that is left. So our reversible heat, whereas work was the change in the energy levels from changing the volume, heat is going to be keeping the energy levels the same but changing the probabilities. Okay, so that's kind of neat. We have two different sources there. We have work, which comes from changing the energy levels and not the probabilities. And we have heat, which comes from changing the probabilities and not the energy levels. So it's kind of nice to see that connection that what we're doing at the macroscopic level has this nice clear interpretation for what these mean at the microscopic level. And those are the type of connections which we're going to try to make over the remainder of the playlist as well.